So first of all, tell us the title of your study and um, what its purpose was. So the, the focus of the study is to see how HPV, which is a very common sexually transmitted infection, in fact, the most common worldwide, how that predisposes a woman to acquire HIV. And if you're already HIV infected, does having HPV increase your, your transmission of HIV? What would you say your findings are so far? Very interesting findings. Um, you know, most people haven't looked very carefully at the type distribution of HPV. So HPV is not just one kind of bug. There's a, a variety of different types of HPV in the HPV family. And what we found is the types that we're finding in African Caribbean women who live in Toronto is very different from the North American uh, HPV types. So we're finding new types that are not covered by the current HPV vaccine. So that's really important because, you know, women living in Toronto who are accessing this vaccine program are not getting covered because they may be going back to their countries of origin, acquiring these other HPV types and still progressing on to cervical cancer. And the other interesting thing is if they are acquiring HPV, are they at increased risk of acquiring HIV? And so they're not being protected by the vaccine either. How will your findings influence practice? So yeah, that's great. Uh, I think it directly informs the design of next generation vaccines, first of all, like, because it's important to know that yes, that there's other HPV high risk types that are present in, in North America because of the high immigration population in, in, in Toronto, we're able to uncover this. And making a better vaccine that incorporates these types will afford better protection. That's the first thing. And secondly, understanding how the immune system and the interplay between co-infections works is very important because then we can understand why a woman is more susceptible to HIV when she has an HPV infection and why also does she transmit more HIV if she has an HPV co-infection. You talked about cultural difference in terms of the actual um, HPV virus itself. What about in terms of treatment? Would you recommend um, a different approach to treatment? Mm -hmm. um, I think it's important first to know that there's different types of HPV based on a ge geographical uh, uh, origin. So first of all, you may have a different predisposition to progression to cancer or to anogenital warts, any of the other malignant complications. So right off the bat, that's important. In terms of cultural differences, I think there should be a certain sensitivity and awareness of uh, potential co-infections that a person might have. And I think that that's generally lacking. And if anything, I hope this study, because it's not just looking at HPV, it's looking at other co-infections as well will hopefully it will advance our understanding that we're not a sterile you know site we're we're uh, exposed to many different pathogens and HIV is just one of many pathogens and it interacts with a lots lots of other things thank you Anu and thanks for coming to the conference thank you